Alright, we're back in. <laughs> Alright. No, I actually went on a short binge while, uh, while uh, <laughs> everyone was gone. And I went ahead and unlo unlocked everything. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why I did that, but I did. So yeah, now now I'm now I'm kind of a master at this game. Is what I'm going to tell myself before I wind up, you know, humiliating myself. Let's see. I believe that the last one I did was the knife. So, what would be the opposite of a knife? A slow gun that. Yeah. And the last time we went in from pistol to greatsword to kniffy. So, let's go ahead and go with. It, what, what's the slowest gun? That's my question. Fire rate seven, fire rate one second. You know what? And long reach as well. So yeah, let's go with the sniper. It's like typically hard as usual, naturally. No other difficulty to be selected. All right. But I have made wonderful re revelations about this game. I have discovered many things. Of course, I'm not going to push it too far, <laughs> because I have uh, found the secret uh, uh, to uh, uh, to get into the uh, five million uh, uh, mark. Only problem is, it kind of uh, kind of breaks the game. <laughs> All right, uh, bulk grounds, fire rate, so many uh, so many options. Uh, Honestly, we're gonna need uh, uh, flashbangs anyway, so may as well start there. Not ideal. What I want is something very specific. There we go. And we're gonna need the shield barrier at some point anyway, so may as well choose that. Just pass right on through. Don't mind me. And what else do we need? We need... Do we want frost flashbangs? Yeah, I think we'll go with frost flashbangs. Not what we need, but it's what, uh, what we want. Oh, there it is. Conceal fatigue. This will start us on our victory. Enemies outside my vision move 25% slower. But you're a sniper. Don't you need vision? <laughs> That's what you think. That is what you think, my friend. No. No. Vision. Vision is not needed. Patient stalker. Enemies outside my vision move 50% uh, slower, but ones in vision move 10% faster. But you just chose flashbang. Isn't that essential? No, 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 my friend. You do not understand. Uh, let's see here. Shrapnel, Singularity. Uh, cluster flashbangs. There we go. Now flashbangs split into two. So now they freeze is when I want to hit them. And let's see here. Guided missile, vision delay. Enemies are slowed down for 20% uh, after being revealed in vision for two seconds. Uh, let's go ahead and go with that. Eventually, this will be essential to, uh, uh, to our build. And I know what you're saying. And you're, you're choosing opposing perks. It makes no sense. You're sabotaging yourself. Maybe. Maybe, but I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand in the strength of the sniper shot. Uh, enemies in vision will take 20% more damage. Yes. That's just an objectively good choice. Next opportunity, I may take radiation just for the extra damage. 
I'm gonna need radiation either way eventually. Choose a weapon perk. Uh, fire rate, bullet damage. Uh, bullet needs to deal 100% more damage for each enemy pierced. <laughs> you see, the more damage you do, the more damage you do. Hard, uh, hard to ignore that. Alright. Uh, oh, blind fire. There we go. Fire rate 25%, bullet damage 25%. So now we do uh, do more, and we don't really have to worry. Uh, 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 we don't really have to worry about seeing anything. It's a target-rich environment. We have no shortage of things to shoot. Ah, there's the flashbang star. Got that online. There we go. Now everything can be revealed. Of course, we're gonna need to get some actual damage online if we're gonna make this work. Let's see here. Uh, vision halt, blunt, and telekinesis. XP pickup rate 500%. <laughs> Fire rate, 40, uh, plus 40%. Damage, plus 40%. Vision circle pretty much goes away. But that's not our problem. See, now, we don't have to see anything. Now, we just go to work. Electricity. Yes, please. And light irritation. Enemies revealed in light take 50% more damage, but we have radiation now. Let's make it work for us. Nope, oh, accidentally ate a bullet there. Of all the things to get me. Uh, shrapnel. Shrapnel would actually work very well in our favor, considering that we're, we're dealing entirely with radiation and sniper bullets. Who's next? Uh, heavy radiation. Doom rounds. Chain lightning. I'm thinking chain lightning. Shock damage dealt to enemies will uh, damage all other enemies inflicted by shock. Give me just one moment. Uh, yeah. Now. Oh! <laughs> It's something it's someone and far off and got damaged by that but now I can very safely just go around and start hurting things and not uh, not suffer any, any consequences for my actions um, electromagnetism heavy radiation uh, bulk grounds let's let's re-roll what I really want is fire rate if I can get it mm, no fire rate I mean, we may as well uh, go with Doom Rounds. That just means that if something dies, and everything dies when I uh, shoot it, then, then my next bullet does more damage. So it's, pr it's pretty much saying, hey, you, you know how you have slow, high damage bullets? How would you like them to be more damaging on every shot? Now, I definitely do need higher fire rate if I'm going to uh, pull this off. Simply due to the fact of what, uh, what I'm dealing with here. Um, yeah, let's re-roll. Quick radiation. Radiation takes one less shot to activate. If a doom round kills an enemy, fire rate is temporarily doubled for one second. I mean, yeah. That it, You just described ev uh, every shot, so... There's always some, uh, something to die around here. There we go. And what else have we got here? One moment. There we go. 
Uh, let's see here. Pierce charge. Piercing three enemies with a bullet will instantly cool down. Piercing three enemies with a bullet will instantly refresh. Shoot cooldown doesn't apply to bosses. Exit wound. Bullet, uh, uh, bullets will de will create two extra bullets when half the damage and size. Oh, when hitting an enemy. Exit wound. Uh, fire rate is tanked though, so no. Uh, thermal scope. No. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and up our fire rate. That or we could up our uh, damage by 50%. Both of these are good options. And... Let's see here. Fire rate or bullet damage. Do I want to proc more often or do I want to do damage? Strictly speaking, the bullet damage would be better. Yeah, let's go with uh, bullet damage. It procs less often, but it's better overall. Because radiation is directly tied to uh, actual bullet damage. There we go. As you can see, getting all, uh, getting all this experience, I don't even need, uh, need to look. You don't need to see what's in the darkness if everything in the darkness is dead. Okay, uh, vision halt, quick draw, fire rate, up by 20%. Yes, please. Won't say no to that. Thank you very kindly. Now, th uh, this isn't the most optimal, but I think uh, it's the best scaling build so far. You could go ahead and emphasize projectiles instead, but I don't think projectiles sail uh, quite as well. To a degree. To a degree. Depends on uh, what weapon you have. Okay. Swiftness. I'm thinking light irritation. 50% more damage. To any enemy revealed in vision. I will need more fire rate, though. Because that uh, that will up how often my uh, flashbangs are procked. Oh, lost my shield. Need to be very careful for a little bit until I get my shield back. Oh, there he is. Uh, there's my first victim. Come on, boss. I've, uh, I've barely. I've only uh, just begun. Uh, multi shot, no, because that takes, uh, takes uh, um, a hit to, uh, to bullet damage. Vision halt, yeah, we're gonna need that as well, but for entirely different reasons. Let's see here. Oh, you're moving a little bit faster than usual. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. There we go. And we got our shield back. Nice. But we are not done yet. What we really need now is to up our fire rate. Yep. We could probably stand to in increase our cone of vision as well. Because people, uh, people are going to start making trouble for us. Uh, Gleam. Yeah, we're gonna need Light Wave at some point. So, I'm thinking Gleam. Yeah, let's go with Gleam for now. Just, uh, just to improve things for us. There we go. Thing is, our, uh, our fire rate is not, uh, is not amazing, but we do so much damage when things are caught in vision. That it doesn't really matter. We just do an absurd amount of damage on every tick of radiation. And anything that do radiation doesn't get, our uh, sniper bullets get. So you just have to trust yourself to the dark and then come back to the light. Let's see here. 
Uh, burn, calamity rounds, damage and bullet size of and doom rounds are doubled. I really want something better though. Let's see here. All enemies are enemies take five percent more damage for each enemy revealed in vision. That's good eventually, but actually we may as well take that now because that that's it's going to be very good in the in the long term. Not that I think we're going to uh, need it. Then again, if I take, uh, keep, uh, keep uh, taking uh, stupid losses from from running into projectiles, it may be necessary. We will find out. There we go. <laughs> Another nice thing about electricity, anything that's touched by the radiation, even briefly, winds up getting shocked by electricity. And anything that's shocked by electricity is permanently marked in shadow, so I know where they are. Uh, blinding light. Let's go with that. Vision circle slows down enemies by 20%. Movement speed minus 10. Doesn't sound great initially, but it serves its purpose. There we go. Whom's next? Whomst, whomstist is coming next. Ah! Uh, and that. And the, now see, this is uh, this is the drawback of it. This is the drawback of, uh, of the strategy. If I, uh, if I wind up doing something stupid and wind uh, just wind up wandering into, you know, uh, uh, various happenstance. Especially if uh, if it happens before. I get my shield back. In fact, investing in shield might be a good uh, a good uh, turnover at this point. Um, let's see here. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot about uh, uh, radar. I was wondering why I was having a hard time. I was like, oh, sh this should be a little bit easier. I remember it being easier. Duh, you forgot radar, dummy. Radar uh, is your win condition and early on. If I had just gotten radar, I would be in a uh, much better state. I, I wouldn't. Have, uh, I wouldn't have taken that damage. Radar is essential if you uh, for scaling this in the long term. So now I have to survive until I can get radar online. Good job, me. Good job. Yeah, it's not immediately obvious because it's hidden behind in cone. And cone is. Uh, uh, Cone is usually worthless. But radar, radar is very valuable. Oh, now these boys are coming out. Alright. Eroding lights. Vision rays. Or glow. Um, vision rays. Every fifth en enemy killed explodes into three temporary vision rays. Okay. That's actually very good for us. It's not as good as radar, but it'll do uh, it'll do in this instance. There we go. Another one down. It's actually phenomenal uh, how, uh, how uh, quickly this goes through. There we go. Anyone else? Yep. Immediately got my shield taken away again. That's why you gotta be careful. Whom stills? All these boys. Hopefully it reprocs my shield before too long here. Alright. Uh, nothing I need in, in right off hand. Ballistic tip, fire rate up. You gotta choose that. Simply because I, I would prefer radar, but I'm a dummy and I forgot uh, forgot to uh, get radar. But hey, this will improve my vision as well because it'll throw out more uh, 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 more flashbangs. Yeah, I wasn't thinking. If I had been thinking, I, uh, I would have been, been more careful and, and gotten and uh, gotten the uh, radar while I still could have. Now it's going to be a while. 
If I can get it, it'll still be very helpful. But the trick is, is actually getting it. Okay, shield's back online. Good, 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 good. And there you go. Choose a weapon perk. Okay. Now, radiation rounds. Shooting two enemies with a single bullet triggers radiation. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, giant rounds. Bullet damage and, and bullet size. Or fire rate and bullet speed are doubled when standing still. Here's the thing. If we go, if we go with mounted sniper, we could just have faith that... Uh, it's not going to help us um, uh, like immediately, but doubling our fire rate would be very good. On the other hand, radiation rounds. Shooting two enemies with a single bullet triggers radiation. That's going to proc a lot, and it's also a plus 50 to radiate. I got to deal with that. It's got to be done. There, there are so many times that's going to proc that, uh, that it's ridiculous. And it, and it already pairs so well. That is, that is literally a, a, uh, everything we've been building towards. But I desperately need... Desperately, 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 desperately need my radar to come online because that tells me what enemies are closest. Without, uh, without radar, I'm very much lost in the dark. Nope. Oh, there we go. This guy's gonna uh, just go uh, go to pieces in a couple seconds here. You done, boy? Down, boy. There we go. Almost nothing. But as you can th see, things are getting a little more hectic, so... I'm gonna need something to, uh, to deal with it. Radar! There we go. Movement speed plus 15%, uh, and now I can actually see things that are trying to sneak up on me. Because radar constantly gives you relevant information. It's like, hey, hey, this guy's about to kill you. This is pertinent to you. This is important. There we go. No, multi-shot is kind of a scam because uh, uh, because it, it takes away from so much of your damage. There are only very specific builds that it works for. For instance, I think I think the multi-shot works well for uh, like just as an example. Well, uh, what, what would you uh, what would you call it? Um, oh yeah, uh, 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 the uh, the scythe. The scythe works well with multi-shot simply because by its nature uh, you you really can't uh, can't help but uh, you really, it, there, there are actually perks that benefit from it if that makes sense there we go all right now speed of light 20% movement speed while vi uh, while vision circle is active Honestly, yeah, that would be very useful. And we that brings us closer to the flash freeze, is which causes a uh, freeze, uh, light circle will freeze enemies every three seconds. So again, very useful. There we go. Whom's next? There we are. Yeah, if I go ahead and upgrade my shield, I'll be able to do a lot more. Because there is a in-game shield that will pretty much illuminate the entire map. Alright, and... Bullet Cyclone, Bulk Rounds. These are all very good. Um, I'm thinking Bullet Cyclone. 
because that'll get us closer to supernova. Uh, which again, not uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's why. And that right there uh, uh, wound up uh, doing a lot of damage to everything surrounding. I may wind up dying if I'm not careful here. I still don't. Uh, I still need one more uh, tick of. Uh, uh, of uh, I still need one more instance. Uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? I still need one more instance of, of uh, radar. Otherwise, I'm not safe because radar. Radar procs uh, uh, faster on the second tier, and it stuns. So I very much need a better radar. That or a better shield. One of the two. Whichever one I get to, uh, get to first. Because at a certain uh, certain level, depending on how, how strong your shield is, how quickly you can regenerate it. Kill spree. Killing an enemy temporarily increases fire rate by 5%. That's going to uh, that's gonna be useful. That will also increase my vision because I'm always killing something. So my fire rate is always going up. Which means I throw more flashbangs, which means I see more stuff. There we go. Yeah. We're at that stage where uh, this is extremely helpful. I would I'd like a better radar. If I can get one. But jury's out on, on if that's ever going to be the case. I may wind up uh, completing this before I can get my radar. And when I feel silly if, if that's that's how things go. Oh, there we go. Wind up uh, uh, losing uh, losing my shield again. Why? Because I don't have radar. Yeah, it's very important that you unlock your perks in a very specific way. Otherwise, you wind uh, wind up leaving yourself in a bad con uh, position. Flash freeze. Circle of light will freeze enemy every three seconds. I'm gonna re-roll. I want that, but I want some other things more. Okay, slow projectiles, plus ten percent movement speed. Not ideal, but that's what I'm gonna go with. Perhaps having the projectiles off my back will uh, make things a little bit easier for me. Especially since enemies are getting faster now. There we go. Still need a lot more experience. Yeah, as you can see, radar is doing a decent job, but I need I need it to proc faster. There's still too uh, too many enemies, and they come in way too quickly. There we go. Shields back up, mean, uh, meaning I'm out of the danger zone. Not time to relax just yet. Yeah, not uh, not too uh, not too worried. Going right through it, aren't I? Yeah, if I go ahead and get this one successfully, I'll probably go ahead and switch over to the pistol because the boss should be procking in, in, any minute now. Let's see here. Spray and pray. Fi uh, uh, fire projectiles faster at the cost of accuracy and damage. I mean, 20% in, in in minus the damage, but up in, uh, upping fire rate. It's the objectively correct choice. Again, in, um, fire, uh, so many things are tied to fire rate. So it, uh, it, it's always a, a dance between fire rate and damage. Because radiation pretty much has all your needs covered for uh, damage. As you can see, now uh, now I have basically just a machine gun sniper. Hooray. Oh goody. Oh great day. Yeah. As you can see, that... Uh, uh, that difference in damage. No, uh, no real difference to speak of. Up, oh, 
wind up losing my shield. But I don't think it's, that's going to matter. And there you go. Final boss dead. <laughs> Almost instantly. But it, uh, let, let's go ahead and go back to, to the main menu and choose another weapon. I think we can get another one in. Okay. Sniper. At long range. And, and very slow. So what is short range and fast? Short range and fast. I mean, katanas. Pistols and katanas. <laughs> Snipers and katanas, anyone? And, um... Honestly, and, and we've gone very uh, far range. Let's go with the ultimate sh uh, short range. So we're going to go with shotgun this time. Yeah, there there is one final build that I'll probably go to an extreme on, but it, it's it's not with this. Okay, so the shotgun, shotgun is, is very much a similar strategy. There are, there are a lot of things you can do with the shotgun, and and ultimately the shotgun is one of the weaker weapons. It's an er, uh, early tier. I mean, they all cost the, uh, it's the same, but the later you go, the, they tend to get more powerful as you go. All right. Uh, spotlight. Spotlight first and foremost, because that puts us on track to radiation. Sorry, not radiation. Uh, radar. And, oh, there's concealed fatigue. Again, and shotgun does good damage early on, so I don't really need to worry about uh, buffing it. There's uh, there's a temptation to like uh, spam projectiles with uh, with the shotgun, but I don't think it works very well because you need so many things to get it online. Radar, there we go. But the good news is that the uh, the shotgun is exceedingly powerful initially. Uh, let's see here. Frozen radar. Yep, radar activates every half second now. Which means that it's not only uh, not only are they uh, frozen on reveal, meaning I can actually see them, and uh, they can't do anything. So it's a good start. Uh, patient stalker makes things more dangerous for us, but it also gets us closer to where we need to go. Good, 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 good. Uh, quick draw. Uh, these are all pretty good. Uh, hmm. I mean, shrapnel would be useful at, at this early stage. But let's re-roll. Oh, and I'm glad I did. Oh, there's also shine on you, but I don't need shine on you just yet. I need blind fire. Because the, the, the getting... And getting telekinesis uh, this allows you to, uh, even though you're working in, in the dark, even though you're working in the dark, you can and, and go ahead and, and uh, collect so much experience so quickly. Blind telekinesis, there we go. That XP pickup range is essential. It ups your fire rate, it ups your bullet damage, and it costs you practically nothing. It, I would say it's the most powerful perk in the game. I would say it is the single most powerful little, uh, perk in the game. Uh, let's go ahead and get a, a shield now. You know, just to cover for any stupid mistakes I may I may make. It, 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 it'd be a shame to talk a big game and then and wind up losing because of some stu stupidity on my part. Okay, choose your weapon perk. Uh, yeah, bullet choke. And bullet spread reduced by 50%, bullet speed by 60 That does nothing for you. You're spinning your wheels. There is no advantage to that. Bullet damage plus 50, fire rate plus, uh, plus 75%. I'm going to go with bullet damage since that's just better in this instance. Again, radiation and, and, uh, and benefits from both the fire rate and from... Uh, from uh, direct damage so e uh, either one will work in your favor uh, bullet cyclone uh, 
white targets, shine on you. Honestly, I kind of want shine on you. Radar has a 10% chance to mark an enemy. His doubling fire rate for two seconds, spawning a large vision circle when killed. And radar activates on five enemies at a time. So yeah, that that's just improved. So now it activates every half, uh, half second, and it reveals every enemy that uh, that you see, and it ups your fire rate. And now is a good time for radiation. Yeah, had I gotten this earlier in the last build, I would have been a lot stronger, because it would have been in proccing shine on you, which increases your fire rate. And, and, double, uh, and pair that with radiation, where everything in light is, uh, is going to have a bad time. And suddenly, uh, you're exceedingly powerful. Um, let's go ahead and reroll. Gleam. Quick draw. Quick radiation. White target. Enemies revealed in vision take 20% more damage. Uh, let's go ahead and up our fire rate because that also ups our... That ups a lot of things. Yeah, you, you can push things a lot further uh, once you uh, once you can sign yourself to the dark. Uh, light targets. Enemies revealed in vision take 20% more damage. Shrapnel. Let's go ahead and, and re-roll. These are good, but I want better. Uh, not getting better. Okay, bulk rounds it is. There we go. Whom's next? There we go. Yeah, it just ups your fire rate to such a ridiculous degree. Hollow points. We're gonna need some piercing in order to uh, pull this off. Piercing is absurd, especially against bosses. Because it means that one bullet goes a lot further. In fact, it, it can it become absolutely devastating on, on the right weaponry. Uh, maximum caliber. Uh, bullet damage, bullet speed. May as well. Bullet speed means that it pierces more enemies before, uh, before it winds up uh, disappearing, I believe. At least that's how I think it works. I'm probably wrong, but hey, no one's here to contradict me, so... Um, slow projectiles. Uh, I guess we're doing heavy radiation. There we go. And now we're starting in, in to see the fruits of our labor. And the faster we kill them, the faster they uh, respawn, which means the more experience we get. Uh, I'm thinking shrapnel. Shrapnel uh, will not go amiss in this instance. It's not exceedingly powerful with the shotgun, conversely. It'd be neat if it gave out like a shotgun blast to all other enemies, but it only gives out like a single pellet. But it's better to have than not. Especially in this early stage. This uh, this is the time to uh, to reap. <laughs> Electricity. Oh, uh, always good to see you, friend. That's just an improved damage on top of damage of its own. Stop that. Yeah, as you can see, I'm having a lot easier time with the radar. Especially with shine down. Because nothing is outside my range. Double barrel. Every every shot fires an extra burst of bullets. That does not help with fire rate, so this is useless. Point blank. Enemies is right next to you. Take 200% more damage. Again, useless. Tracer rounds. Bullets spawn in far-reaching vision trails that last a second. No. You're a shotgun. You're not going to spawn vision trails. So we're doing fire rate. Yeah, I don't know what those perks are. 
Just, just bad perks for overall. I think what makes it really sad is that at, at the late game, plat, like your last uh, weapon buff is at web, level 30, and then you only have the generic buffs. I, I would like to uh, like use the. I would like to be able to access uh, the uh, level buffs every 10 levels. That would be amazing. Uh, stopping power, bullet damage, bullet speed, bullet size, fire rate minus 10. Worth it for the bullet, uh, bullet damage. It also it also makes, makes uh, piercing a little bit more effective, so good to have. There we go. As you can see, I'm taking a lot uh, a lot less damage than I did last time, despite having an inferior weapon. Explosive radiation, yes, please. Piercing rounds, projectiles pierce through one enemy. Wait, didn't didn't I already get that? Well, I have it now. I have it now. I'm like a kid in a candy shop. Everything looks so good. Ah, 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 ah. Don't try that on me. Don't try that on me. I don't know what I was thinking in the last run. Gleam. Yeah, get, get yourself Gleam. That's going to be really helpful for you. Put 20% on your nothing vision cone. That, that'll work out really well. Alrighty. Now, chain lightning. That would also be nice. But we also have a light target. Chain lightning is nice. But we also have light target, which takes 20% more damage to enemies in vision. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's the priority. Yeah, uh, uh, we are uh, 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 dealing damage at a ridiculous rate now. And the first boss hasn't even spawned. Speak of the devil. Here he is. Now, I'm not doing amazing amounts of damage, but I am doing enough. There we go. Case in point. Oh, I let him, I let him touch my shield. My bad. And quick radiation. One less shot to activate. Oh. That guy just spawned out of nowhere. Spawned right behind me. And he took the health that I just uh, just gained. Good job, me. That's what you get when you don't pay attention. Perfect. Not a flaw to be had. There we go. This is going exceptionally well. Uh, rapid fire radiation, fire rate. I mean. And that's just a good, a good choice, isn't it? Radiation takes two less shots to activate, and my fire rate goes up. I get to hit the damage, but honestly, it's it's so minor. Why would I care? Yeah, and my current problem is my lack of reach, I think. There we go. Surprise! Oh, there! I was gonna say, I'm surprised my shield has a proc yet. There it is. There's my shield. I'm so good, uh, glad to see you again, friend. Let's see here. Uh, flu uh, fluorescent radiation is useless. Never pick fluorescent radiation. I can't. I cannot envision minus thirty percent radiation damage. Damages enemy, damaging enemies will spawn a temporary vision circle that lasts a second. What is the use of that? What is the use case? Explosive radiation. Always better. Uh, 
All right. So. Yeah, honestly, blind telekinesis is, is definitely the best is perk in the game. Simply because when paired with... Uh, when paired with... What, what do you call it? It's... Um, radar. It, there's really nothing that can stop you. Uh, between, uh, between the two, you've got everything you need. If you pair it with radar, uh, you're, go you're going to get to the end every time. Those two perks win you the game. Let's see here. Ballistic tip, bullet speed, fire rate. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, I like how I just wandered into that bullet. Very smart of me. Very, uh, 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 very clever. Excellent work, me. I'm gonna need something to deal with the uh, projectiles before too long here. It's getting a little dinky donk. Yeah, and my, and my biggest problem in this game has always been the projectiles. Because there's no real good way to deal with them aside from just, you know, avoiding them. There, there are those pathetic perks that they say, Oh, oh, how, how about, uh, how, uh, how about you get, uh, you know, get something that reflects it and it's like costs you uh, all of your uh, stuff? Uh, all your damage to do it. Kill spree. I mean, I am always going to be killing, so there's never going to be an instance where you don't uh, don't kill. There's also those weird parts where it says, "Oh, well, stop firing, and your next bullet, singular, will uh, uh, will do more damage." It's like, why? Why would I ever do that? They they are on me in 0 0.3 seconds. Why would I stop for a second and, and to do? A, like 50% more damage. In what world does that make sense? So yeah, blind telekinesis is into uh, radar and just uh, just spamming uh, spamming your damage. Objectively, the correct choice. There is never a world in where you don't want blind telekinesis, even if you're doing a radiation build. I'd say especially if you're doing a radiation build, you want blind telekinesis. Uh, light irritant or puncture rounds. Projectiles will pierce through three image dealing... Okay. Yes, please. I mean, that, that, that that's just an improvement on, on what we were already doing. And, and, and now we just have uh, a fire hose of damage. And if I had gone ahead and gone with multi-shot, it, it, it would be a much, a much more literal hose of damage, open air quotes. Like, oh look, you did a point of damage. You can reach everything on the screen, but uh, but uh, you're, you're not killing any of them. But yeah, r radiation is superior to multi-shot simply because it doesn't it doesn't and, uh, eat into your damage. It's based on light, but the, pr the thing is, with the right perks, that's not an issue. And so many light perks improve your damage anyway. Alright, choose a weapon perk. Uh, shoot two fewer bullets. It's uh, speed and bullet size. Shoot two fewer bullets, but deal uh, uh, plus 200% damage. Hmm... Dragon's Breath. Shooting enemies that are on fire decrease their fire cool down by 20%. Uh, bullet speed and fire damage plus 50. Birdshot. Fire four more uh, four more bullets. Bullet speed and bullet size. What is What are even these options? What are these options? I, I'm almost tem tempted to go uh, with point blank. At least that might uh, have some um, like short-term use. Uh, tracer rounds. Spawn far-reaching vision trails that last a second. I might go with that. Shooting an enemy that's on fire decreases their fire cooldown by uh, 20, uh, uh, 20%. And uh, fire damage and by 50, bullet speed by 100. At least that's good. Uh, fire two fewer bullets. 
bullet damage it's plus 20 percent bullet size by 50 you know what i'm going i'm going to go slug shot bullet speed and, and yeah that seems like the right option to, to make I, and, and i'm more than 100 percent would be double so i'm technically tripling my current damage in exchange in for uh for fewer bullets and the number of bullets don't matter because only one i think only one bullet can really hit them at a time I may be wrong about that, but I don't. I don't care to check. So that's someone else's his research to, uh, to look into. Yeah, that that was the correct cho choice, especially with shrapnel, since only one bullet's going to count towards killing them. So and now they, they actually go further and they do more, and it, 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 everyone's happy. Well, I'm happy. I don't think the enemies are too happy. Uh, spray and pray, my old friend. I'm so glad you're here. We have so much to, uh, to talk about. Fun, uh, funny, uh, funny part about it, uh, damage, it illuminates it, its... Oh, come on. You had to spawn right there, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, as you can see, even with the huge boost in damage, I'm not as powerful as the sniper. <laughs> I don't even have to worry about everyone else. They're just off to the side dying. Perish, please. Stop that. And this should just about do it if it wants to finish up. There we go. Now to go back through and collect everything. Yeah, I should definitely uh, uh, yeah, get something to slow down projectiles because they're just fast enough to be annoying. Uh, let's see here. Slow projectiles. Speak of the devil. Increases my movement speed, slows them, uh, slows them down. Again, not strictly needed, and if you're a good enough player, you don't, uh, you probably you don't want to do that. But hey, I never said I was a good player. That's why I rely on the shield. All right. Yeah, uh, ra uh, radar is just so essential for uh, picking up uh, picking up stray enemies. You don't even have to uh, worry about them; they, they just take care of themselves. Meanwhile, every fifth one goes ahead and and uh, and doubles your fire rate effectively, which for radiation is huge. I'm willing to wager that there uh, that there is at least at the very least one in build that can and probably win this by standing still. I haven't found it yet, but I'm sure certain it exists. Uh, light irritation. I'm thinking light irritation. Fifty percent more damage for uh, things caught in light. Which again, thanks to uh, thanks to radar, is everything. It, if it's not caught in light yet, it will be. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, the shotgun just does so little damage. E even at plus 200%, it still does so little damage. Not a, uh, not a great weapon, but uh, uh, and, and which I think is a knock against the game. The only reason the game gets a pass is because every other weapon is so ridiculous. I, I have a rule about games. And so you're not allowed to have a bad shotgun. And this rule is only circumvented at, at, uh, oh, slug radiation. 50% more damage or chain lightning. 50% more radiation damage.
Yeah. And if a game has a bad shotgun, it's not a good game. But here's the thing. This is a good shotgun. It's just not good compared to everything else. That, that's my cop-out. A game is allowed a bad shotgun if it's only bad when compared to everything else. There we go. It's like, if the other options are just so ridiculous, it's that it makes the shotgun look bad. But uh, then, uh, then, it, then it counts. It works just fine. There we go. And light in the dark. All enemies in, vi in vision take 5% more damage. Projectile deflection. No. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Shoot an enemy with a projectile. An enemy to projectile to deflect it towards a random enemy dealing 100% damage. And projectile with green trails cannot be deflected. What's the point of it then? Because... It, 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 and it uh, and it nukes your fire rate by thirty five percent. What's the point? And and we, uh, the, at the end game, the most dangerous projectiles are the ones w uh, with the green trails. So uh, that would that's just suicide. Light in the darkness. All enemies. Uh, we're gonna go with that one. Yes. Again, more enemies in light. The more enemies in light. Now, as it stands, this this could go quite far into the end game, depending uh, depending on what I get. For instance, I personally think that uh, the be uh, best option for like light uh, late game is to go ahead and get the uh, get the super shield, and that'll uh, uh, usually carry you. Because you're uh, killing enemies so fast that uh, that by the time you're damaged again, it'll be uh, it'll be procked already. And since you're dealing with radiation, it illuminates everything, and you don't have to worry about it. Ooh! See, even uh, even with the uh, projectile slow, I'm still uh, still getting myself caught. Could use one more level. There we go. Uh, I don't want your projectile deflection. Go away. Uh, chain lightning, doom rounds. After killing an enemy, your next shot will do 50%. Let's go with bullet cyclone. At least th uh, this way, uh, we wind up firing bullets in every in every direction. Not nearly as powerful as, as with the sniper, but hey, we work with what we're given. And the final boss should be pop, uh, popping up any uh, any second now. Oh, and that is why that is why we get our shield. That is in fact precisely why we grab our shield. Oh. We still have to kill like, like another hundred enemies uh, before we can get our shield back, but hey, what you got is what you got. There we go. Yeah, and the, the thing is, is you, uh, you can have pretty much absolute confidence in radiation because you're never going to move fast enough to, uh, to outpace it. There's the boss boy. Something is always going to proc to, uh, to let you know uh, where the enemy is and who uh, who's on your tail and who's causing you trouble. And it's always going to, uh, to let you know uh, what you're, you're going to need to do next. Oh, there's my shield. Let's go ahead and prompt that uh, that bullet storm. There we go. Hopefully, and we'll be able to wear them down. 
Again, and the sniper is better at uh, taking down bosses simply because it starts with Pierce. It's effectively it starts with uh, with Pierce and only gets strong uh, uh, stronger from there. It's like it, it has the strongest form of Pierce, so you're not wasting in, in, uh, experience points on perks for it. And it just gets better as time goes along. There we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. You're annoying me. Um, you keep trying to push that projectile deflection. No, I'm not taking it. Uh, rage. When shield barrier is activated, weapon stats are doubled for 5 seconds. Yes. 150 kills. Hopefully they get this my shield online a little faster. So I don't have to worry about it. Hurry up! Hurry up! Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah, as you can see, this guy just soaks up so much damage. Yeah. Even with uh, even with Pierce uh, on uh, on the shotgun, it, j it just doesn't like to work for you. So you, you, you kind you're kind of uh, you kind of have to. Just wear them down. There we go. That's one. Hopefully we uh, we start seeing some others just go uh, go the way of the dodo. Good, good, good. I need to get rid of this guy. Otherwise, if more show up at the wrong time, like him. It, when I say if more show up at the wrong time, I was specifically talking about those boys. Oh. Trying to sneak up on me, are you? Hopefully it'll shoot through him eventually. Like I said, shotgun takes considerably more time than pretty much any other weapon. I don't think any other weapon in, in takes nearly as much time as the shotgun does. Yep. Yep. There we go. Got it. So that uh, that was sniper and shotgun. So game. Oh yeah. I forget. I always forget that it does that little pause. But yeah, I could go ahead and push that further. But honestly, I don't enjoy playing with the shotgun in this game. Blasphemy. I know. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the main menu. What all does that leave? Okay, we've done the uh, shotgun, sniper, knife, greatsword. I guess that and, and, and we still haven't shown the uh, victory with the pistol, katanas, boomerang scythe, lever action rifle, burst action, burst rifle, or minigun. And, and I'm, I'm going to save the, uh, the burst uh, rifle for a second to last. And, and as I promised, I have to do the pistol dead last. I'm thinking... Bur uh, 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 the pistol into the burst rifle. Simply because I think the burst rifle is probably the most powerful. Well, minigun is a strong contender as well. Does double damage, but and has a fraction of the fire rate. I don't know. Anyway. It's also got some crazy perks. <laughs> anyway, see you. Bye.